We got sidetracked. <laughs> hey, so and welcome back to K-pop schools. schools. I'm Paige. I'm Kate. And we are back, guys. We just got done checking out Ha Sung Woon's Sneakers, Sneakers, which is a really cute, fun song. So that'll it literally sounds like we just watched a video of a sneaker collection. Sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> no, that I made before. This one was a really cute video. So go check that out. And now we're heading into alcohol free by twice who would want alcohol free things though that's not I, fun i like alcohol give me my alcohol i got a bottle of soju <laughs> <laughs> we, anyway we got that a while ago we still haven't drank it yet i've been drinking it so it's like half gone <laughs> i have vodka in my room i have a bottle of vodka in my fridge that i it's been there for like three years and i just haven't finished it <laughs> It's just been in my fridge. My brother mentioned it last night because he came in looking for a drink and goes, you know this has been in your fridge for like three years. I'm like, yeah, I was slowly drinking it and I just like stopped. I just stopped. <laughs> it just has been I in my fridge. I got soju instead. <laughs> I got soju instead, so. Anyway, um, but yeah, she has shown me, we've only seen like I've, a couple of Twice videos on here. Yeah, I've shown you more and more and yep. I Can't Stop Me. Yeah. Which or were the most recent two title tracks. Did we do I Can't Stop Me? I think we did a B-side of theirs on the, on our channel. I'm pretty sure it was I Can't Stop Me. Hmm. I don't think I've shown you any of their B-sides yet. One moment. <laughs> Maybe it was, yeah. I Can't yeah. Stop Me and more, more and more. more. Oh, yeah, so those are the only two. Mm-hmm. Okay, sorry. I just wanted to double check. <laughs> just in case. We're back. Sorry. <laughs> um. But, yeah. They're one of my old girl, girl groups. I can't speak Yeah. Now. I'm like, I had heard Twice songs before you started showing them to me. Um, here and there, just like in passing. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I used to not like them because of the kc yeah. But then they came out with Dance the Night Away, and that's the song that turned me into a once. <laughs> yeah, I've never been a huge fan of Twice. I've, I've listened to them a couple of times here and there. Um, and then like what you showed me. But I, to be honest, they are one of the cutest girl groups for me. Um... I do know most of the members by name. Um, the one I know the most by name is Momo. Um, she's the dancing machine. She's the dancing machine. If I had a bias in Twice, like, if I stand them, she would probably be my bias. Um, plus I've seen her in other things and stuff like that, like, hit the stage and stuff. So, um, she's the one I know the most about. I know all the members. Yeah. Um... But yeah, so I'm I'm going in with this, you know, completely open minded and see mm-hmm. if I'll like this one. Especially because like they're upgrading from their cutesy sound. Yeah, they're, they're starting to be more mature. mature. Yeah, like I remember in like I can't stop me. Um, that one was more mature from more and more. I also have to show you, um, cry for me. Okay, that was a song they did at a concert, and then everyone like, why hasn't you re- why haven't you released that? So they released it. Okay, like an official version. Okay, and then they released an English version too, but it's definitely dark. Ooh, it's dark twice. Ooh, yeah, I might like that one more because I like I said I did like I can't stop me more than um more and more, um but even with I can't stop me I wasn't a huge like mm-hmm. super into it. So, um, I'm definitely interested to see what they're going to do for this one. Um, we did a captions for it, right? Yeah. JYP is usually good with captions. Okay. I just wanted to double check. Okay. So, yeah, this is, um, their song Alcohol Free. So, it, like I said already, it just sounds very interesting. Um, and we're starting off with a cocktail on screen, so. <laughs> you should make me one of those. Whatever I should, the fuck is in Because I am a bartender now. That is my job. So I'm like, if I can figure out what goes into it, I could try to make it for you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, before I jump in, I'll leave a link to our Patreon down below in the search box so you can check us out. We do live stages, drama reactions, variety shows, dance practices. You can join our Discord. Basically, everything you can't do here on YouTube. We also post free videos over there for you guys to get blockchain and channel because I'm not going to make favorite things and give it free. That's just stupid. Speaking of Patreon, we are currently watching Kingdom over there. We have finished episode, um, we have finished four of the episodes, so we're going to be starting episode five soon. Um, they'll be coming out, um, as soon as we can get them out for you. Um, it takes a lot of editing, so (laughs) stay tuned for that. Um, we'll also, we're also doing Run BTS over there. We're finished all of our drama, so we'll be starting a new one soon once we do our polls, which will be over on our Twitter. Our handle will be on screen. Um, we'll also be doing, um, posting videos every single day over there for you guys that are being uploaded to, to our channel so you guys can stay updated on both places. Um, so yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'll be honest. I listened to all the B-sides for this album. You usually do, which is fine. I yeah, which is fine. I know you will. Yeah. Won't. But I avoided the title track just Good. so we could react <laughs> to it. Alrighty, let me pull it up on screen. Like I said, this is a very pretty cocktail, so 
but this is alcohol it looks free. Yummy, but it it does. also looks like it could be really strong. Yeah. And I like it when my drinks are mild. Like that one drink I had the other, like two the weeks electric ago. electric something. The electric lemonade. Oh my god. That thing had blue Ciroc. It had blue raspberry vodka and lemonade and stuff. But it was like this much lemonade and the majority was like blue Ciroc and blue, blue vodka, uh, blue raspberry vodka. And I was like, strong. <laughs> $8 a, a drink. So I was like, I drank that entire thing. I don't care. Was that at Captain Jack's? Yes, it was. Oh, it was... It, it wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be, but I still drank all of it because I was like, Eight I'm bucks, not going to drink yeah. all of it. I'm like, I'm not going to waste this. <laughs> so, all right, guys, here we go. This is twice alcohol free. Definitely a summer buff. Oh, so yeah. There's Momo. Yep. She looks really good with that long black she hair. She does. I like the dancing. <laughs> she looks pretty with the dark hair too. Is that Mina? Yes. Okay. Like I said I can kind of name most of them. That's Dayan. That's Chaeyoung. Oh Chaeyoung. We got pink Chaeyoung. That's Jingo. Okay, she's the one who did. She's the main vocalist. Yeah. Okay, and isn't she leader? Yeah, I think so. Either Jingo or Nayeon's leader. That's Jangyoung. Okay. Mama. So it's like, I didn't drink anything, but I'm getting drunk off you pretty much. Yeah. Is that Chewy that's or chewy. Sana? I was like, that's Chewy, yeah. yeah. Chewy and Sana do look kind of similar. They do. That's why I, I always mix them up. That's Sana. Okay. And they have like similar colored hair this time back too. Oh look, they gave Momo a streak of blue. Did you notice that? Pretty. It's a sign that you need to dye your hair blue. I'm dying it blue, so it's perfect. I, <laughs> I like how they're like they're saying that it's an alcohol for some, but they're literally naming off so many cocktails. Yeah. <laughs> See that's dying on in the center. Okay. Yeah, it's got a very like Latin vibe. It's fun though. I like their outfits too. Mm -hmm. Nayan has magic powers to make fruit levitate and <laughs> nothing else. Oh, she's in a car. Yeah, Momo looks so pretty. I feel like Momo has grown up so much. She has. Literally, like, this whole group has visuals. Yeah. Flowers that looks pretty. Yeah, so Diane and Chan are the rappers. Okay. And then Momo also raps a little bit. But like her position is vocalist, I think. I like the fireworks, that's pretty. Yeah. <laughs> definitely not my taste but i do appreciate their vocals and everything like that they, they did really well with that so yeah the visuals itself them they're all gorgeous they're so, pretty. they're so pretty how does one person look that pretty for real though like i said um i think chewy momo and sana are like my top three mm -hmm. visuals 
for me anyway. Like for just me, for I my taste. I would say Mina, but I'm biased because Mina's my bias. <laughs> um, Mina, Sana, and I think Nayeon is really pretty too. I mean, they're all like I said, they're all gorgeous, but I think just personal taste, like those three, like Momo, uh, Sana, and Chewie, are like my favorite three. Mm-hmm. Um, vocally, like I said, they did a really great job vocal wise and stuff. Um, and like I said, the setting and like where it is and like the style of the music and the vibe of the dance and stuff that all fit very well together. Mm-hmm. Um, none of the lyrics made me want to cringe too bad. Um, like some of the cute songs where they try to no. throw in lyrics and I'm like, oh, that doesn't fit. No, I think they it it worked really yeah, well. Yeah, there's a lot of songs out there with bad English, but I think the English on this one worked. Yeah, this one worked really well. They did a really good job. Um, like I said, I can appreciate good talent and stuff, and I know why that they're so popular, and I can see why a lot of people like them. They're just not my taste. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, like I said, I do appreciate their hard work, and they did a really good job with this. Yeah, so. I like the song, but for me, I feel like it doesn't beat I Can't Stop Me. Okay. I still like yeah. I Can't Stop Me more. Yeah. Out of but the three... But I appreciate three... that it's like June, and they're actually giving us a summer bop. Yeah. Out of the three that I have now, like, officially reacted to on the channel, because like I said, I've heard their older stuff, but out of the official like three that we've reacted to i would definitely say i can't stop me is still mm-hmm. the top one but then me. again like we just love the retro concepts yeah so um i say if we're gonna talk about their older older stuff like when they first debuted i would say i have to say ooh like ooh ah. i i like that one um and then I found out after the fact, too, that uh, bang chan is actually a zombie in it and i was like oh, that's awesome that is so cool um even though it is on the cutesier side, that's still one of my favorites of It's like... Because it's got zombies and it's like... It's still hard while being cute. Yeah. So it's weird. It's like a weird contrast, but that's why I still like Just that like for cheer the older up. stuff. It's kind of like hard and cute. Yeah. Also. Even though like even though Cheer Up is still not one of my favorites, I do know that one. But I'm like... A, like for old stuff, it would be like, ooh But for newer stuff, I would definitely say, um, so far, it's I Can't Stop Me. For personal taste anyway mm. <laughs> like i still i'm not a huge fan of it but I, I i like it better than um alcohol free and uh more and more and then the song i feel like it's also like the perfect blend of cutesy and mature yeah it, it also it kind of seems like it's going back to the cutesy roots a little bit yeah but keeping their mature sound at the same it time it's definitely you can see the maturity in it um not only just because it was talking literally about alcohol and cocktails and stuff like that um and talking about like how the love is making them feel but even, like, their dance style is a little bit more mature as well. Mm-hmm. Like, they still have cutesy aspects, but it's a lot of it's, like, the hips and a lot more mature look. Um, even their outfits, like, even though they are kind of cutesy, they're very more, much more mature kind of than their stuff. Yeah. Um, but, like, the instrumental, like, mixing with the Latin and stuff, it's still, it's, it's like you said, it's on that cusp of, like, being cutesy but mature. It's definitely um, outside the box for them, because I don't think they've ever done, like, a Latin-inspired song before. Okay. At least not that I can remember. Okay. And I've listened to literally their whole discography. <laughs> Actually, no, because they have B-sides that are kind of Latin, like Hell in Heaven from their last album. Okay. That's an I Can't Stop Me B-side. And then, okay. um, Firework, that's a B-side from More and More, I think. Okay. Those are kind of light and flavored. Okay. But yeah, I'm like, either way, whether I like it or not, like I said, they did a great job. So I, like I said, I completely appreciate that they did a great job. Mm-hmm. So it is just personally, personal taste. I am not, I didn't like it, but. Nine talented women yes, in one group. They they did a great job no matter what. So. Mm. Yay. Anything else you want to say? Anything time for this, like, Momo's still probably going to be your bias. I was say, if, if I ever, like, ended up standing on the, more than likely it would be Momo bias and then probably Chewy or Son or Wrecker. I say, I just... You like the foreign line. I do. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> I do know, like I said, I do know the majority of the members and I do know that they are the foreign members. Um, but yeah, those are the three that have always kind of stood yeah, out to me. Momo, Mina, Sana are Japanese and I think Chewy is Taiwanese? I think so. Chinese or Taiwanese? Um, I think Taiwanese. I think from what I remember. I like Europe. Um, but yeah, like... Chewy, where the heck are you from? That is just what they have always, even from, like I said, since their beginning, those three have always kind of caught my eye. Um... Yeah, she's Taiwanese. Okay. Momo, like I said, obviously has always co- has been more in my eyes, but I've always noticed Chewy and Sana, mm-hmm. and I've always mixed the two up, too, because I'm like, they, they, they look, similar. look similar. They do look similar. 
obviously they have completely different personalities and, and they completely look, different voices because yes. Chewie is like husky and then Sana is yeah pitched. but they have similar features that for some reason I confuse the two but I do know they are just like <laughs> I know them um but yeah for some reason those three have always stood out to me um once in a while Jiho has kind of caught my attention mm-hmm. um and I think, um, Day- Daehyun. Daehyun. Yeah, as well. She's kind of caught my attention a couple of times, too. But the the main three have been Momo, uh, Chewie, and Sana. So. Yeah, and say, like, my bias is Mina, and then my records. It usually varies, but for the most part, it stays, like, Chaeyoung, mm-hmm. Jangyeon, and Nayeon. Okay. But, yeah. <laughs> a lot of, like, names sounding in Yun and they twice. They do. Yun and Young. <laughs> Anything else you want to say? I think I'm good. All right, guys. We hope you enjoyed this video as much as we did. We'll leave a link to our Patreon, our Instagram, and our Twitter down below in the subscribe box. We hope you guys out. It really helps us out so much. Seriously, your support means the absolute, absolute world to us. Welcome to all of our new surveys. You guys are seriously amazing. We love you. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.